Ooh, what's up guys, and welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with your tool, of course, the Scarander. And today's a bit of a lace upload, you guys know the stories of these. Uh, due to me being an um, Elite Four member in the Lithia right now, I don't really have too much time. And the battles I have there, which are incredible, um, I can't upload them just yet. But I'm going to showcase a lot of those battles for you guys once that season ends now, I do believe in one week roughly uh, is the time span they have to actually beat us. And don't worry guys, I'm doing fine. I'm doing very fine. Hopefully I will still do so, because the more battles I have, the funnier it gets. I don't really mind winning, and I don't really mind losing either, but I want to win or lose, close. You know, that that's the general jazz bit. So that's probably all I had to potential upload. I'll try to stream later on today for the guys who are still joining before I go to work. Therefore, lace upload because I am short on time today. But with that in mind, I had an incredible battle against Cleo or Johnny. And don't we call her Cleo? <laughs> um, look into the team preview. Let's first look at my team. It looks okay, right? We got Sato, we got Mushana, Lantern, Legion, which I wanted to use. Uh, Primeape and Miss Mages, so it's up there, it's very close to your standard NU stuff. Then you look at my opponents. Dedene, Wiltuff, Flareon, um, Executor, Behem, and... Uh, I was gonna say Pyro, but that's a Lifer. And uh, so her team is definitely weaker than mine. But besides that, I thought, you know, yeah, I will definitely have a lot of chance this battle. This would this definitely be a quick game. It was not, but you're gonna see just why. So let's hit this thing off. I don't remember the whole game, so I might be a bit off with a few situations. But this is a 43 turn battle. That should be telling you guys something. So she's gonna start with Alexia, and that was definitely a predicted outcome, really. Though I do decide to switch out. I was hoping that she would bring the dead in a for hazards. So I'm gonna bring Grishnall, hoping for a knockoff, and there we go. And that's okay. Um, that did a lot of damage though, so that definitely shows that she's banded. Um, the next knockoff will not take me out, and I think it just decided here to go for a U-turn anyway, because I knew she wouldn't stay in. And I'll take this opportunity to bring Legion, because my Legion is a Sword Dance set, and I really wanted to try that out. And... Uh, yeah, th this was stupid. So I go for the Sword Dance, and of course, you know, I'm faster, so she'll get the Athletic Boost. Which is bad, because even though Legion has good special defense, BM got a good special attack, so I have nothing, nothing on this, and it really was showcased there. So I'm gonna bring back Grishnor, and uh, I just have to go U-turn again. Uh, I don't want to lock myself in here, because I would have been put in a bad situation if I did so. So I'm better off with other Pokemon coming in, but I needed to take this thing out, so I thought that that was my best bet, really. So I'm gonna bring here Helga, which of course is the um, Lantern, and she'll bring Alexia again, and uh, yeah, I am quite defensive, but uh, she's just a computer, which of course does nothing. Uh, I do still suspect that she was banded though, but that did definitely nothing on me, and she's gonna bring the DNA, and here where things get really, 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 really nasty. Because I, can, it kind of hits me that I really don't, I can't hit the DNA that good, and um, mind you guys, DNA is not particularly bulky, but me not having ac access to a ground move, it's kind of, kind of bad. It just, it's it's kind of bad. I really can't do anything. So I was hoping for a bolt switch here, um, but she just go for the synchronize, and that's fine. Of course, I'm fully paralyzed. I can't hit her. So I decided here to try to get a hit in, and she's going to go for Swagger. Now mind you guys, uh, she is not a smoking player that fashion, but she avoids those kind of things if she can. But the Swagger was something that was a bit frustrating, and I got fully paralyzed two times in a row. And this detonate just got really, really annoying. So I'm going to bring back Helga, hoping for a bolt switch. You know, we're going to nom nom that thing up. But since she got the Sunny Day up, and execute her, you know, way back. This is gonna get nasty. This is gonna get really nasty. Because the only way I can kill myself, because her only attack move is actually Volt Switch, so she can't naturally kill me. But I can naturally kill myself. 
Now, I am the heal well set there, which is uh, something I wouldn't think I would get used out of. But I'm glad I did. Oh, so for joy. <laughs> so she's gonna go for another round of Sunny Day. And, um, yeah, I was basically Hooper Brass Goldburn, you know, not hit myself with confusion and whatnot. But, um, eventually I just go for Volt Switch anyway. And see if I can get somebody else to hurt her. But I do realize once I do that, wow, that has one or two speed. Shit, dude, I can't outspeed it either. So I'm gonna bring Nebula, and then I realize, oh yeah, she'll probably go for T Wave, right? Ah, oh, shit, <laughs> get back. <laughs> so this Dedene is just. I don't say this too often, but it got scary fast, and I don't know what to do. I just, I don't. This thing just got. This little puny. Rat got became a Goliath in this game, and it doesn't help that you know the only way or the only means for me to kill myself is actually to hurt myself in confusion while I hope for you know a skull burn to maybe just maybe will this thing down eventually. Because since it outspeeds, I don't want to sack any of my sweepers. Uh, and there's a citrus berry, and I got cheek poach. So it's back on track, and I'm like, oh no, 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 you're supposed to die! <laughs> what the hell is going on? So obviously I can't do a whole lot again, so I'm gonna bring Scylla again. I was really, really hoping that she would just force switch out, but she doesn't do that, she goes for Sunny Day, and uh, you know exactly what I'm gonna do here. And I'm feeling super stupid, I really do, because. I mean, what could I do? What could I potentially do to stop this? This is so painful. And it's such a slow ride. And, you know, I was basically, you know, holding my hands, you know, in my face because I realized that this is so bad. This is so bad indeed. So she'll go for Dr. Gutor while I do a switch out myself to a Grisner. Now, I know I can't outspeed, so I realized when I pulled that, that was with that. Oh, shit, that was definitely not good. So I'm gonna bring Ithril, basically to soak a hit. So luckily she goes for send headbutt and not woodhammer. And I take that fairly well. I mean, I'm somewhat defensive here, so it's not like I have a whole lot to worry about. So all I'm gonna do here is hope that she goes for a sword stance or something like that, and I can T-wave her. I can't necessarily hurt her, but if I can't T-wave her, then I can shut her down. Which means that the chlorophyll will mean nothing in this situation. So that was important. Because... My moves I have is not super effective on her whatsoever. I have Energy Ball and Psy Shock, and they will not hurt this guy whatsoever. So I need to switch out, and I think I decided to bring back Scylla. Uh, basically hoping for the Wood Hammer, or, you know, any stab there is resisted at least. It won't kill me, but it's resisted. So it's not like Will Fade, and that's all fine and dandy. I'm just gonna go for Air Slash, and that's that. Yeah, I get a very, very, very nice hit there. I'm Life Orb also, so it's a really, really intimidating sweeper saw too. So not the best one, but it does work. Now, I was afraid of a potential pursuit, but, you know, I had to switch out. I just I couldn't stay in there. So I'm going to bring back Helga, because my Lantern really walls all of her Pokemons really, really, really well. Now, she will knock off my Chesto, and that's okay, so I'm obviously Chesto Resto. Since Lantern is so naturally bulky. Uh, she'll bring back the Den and there's nothing I can do about that. Besides scalding. Hoping for that burn. And it will never come. It will never come. And of course she just can go for a sunny day. That's fine. I guess. She has nothing more on her team that really benefits from the sun. <sighs> That's really okay. I'm just gonna keep scalding. I'm really I'm not comfortable in this situation. She will definitely switch out though, which was real nice. I was not really looking forward for any more of these scalds. Oh yeah, she actually has Flare with Flare Blitz, which is uh, awesome. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I pulled a double switch there, didn't I? Nice. So I just go for a psychic and it you know it doesn't do a whole lot. I don't want any of my Pokemon to take a fully power flare blitz. Now she actually go for Lava Plume, which is better. Not like a whole lot better, but definitely better than you know anything. So I'm gonna go Grisnor, and I am forced to go for close combat. I am forced to kill this thing and blow it out of the water. And there we go. I really miss that I don't have my choice band though, because had I had choice band, I would definitely not been so um, 
eagerly switching out this Pokemon as I am. Because, of course, Alexi is outspeeding, and that's bad. And uh, I don't. Since I lose my defenses, I'm very, very suitable for a Sucker Punch kill. So I'm gonna bring a Frill instead, and she locks herself into Gunk Shot. Which is fine. It does hurt a lot, though. It does hurt a whole lot, to be honest. And uh, she will naturally outspeed. I can only hope for a miss at best. Hmm. But I think I decided to go for a T-Wave trying to shut that thing down, because if that thing is paralyzed, then I shouldn't have the biggest issues. Oh, I went for Moonlight. Right, but I probably would have done a T-Wave if um, she had missed a gang shot. Naturally, I needed to shut down that um, Dark Pokemon, that Lyport, because if that thing was paralyzed, I probably would have been able to actually sweep with Primeape. Now, she'll go for a Swagger and miss that, and that's okay. Uh, I did predict a swagger, but I realized that, oh yeah, I don't I don't necessarily have speed this Pokemon, do I? So I'm gonna bring back Helga over for a T-Wave, and there we go. Nom nom nom. So we're back to this situation again. Yeah, I know, guys. I know. But really, there is nothing I can do. This thing has just so much swag in it. <laughs> and I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep scrolling, hoping for potential burn eventually. Like I said, I... I have nothing for it. And finally lands. And on the stream I was like it was like praise the Lord. The pain is finally over. We can go home everybody. This thing is burned. That's the game. It's finally gone. <laughs> and yeah, of course it's it's really unfortunate because, because of my opponent, but at the same time, she shouldn't swear in the first place, so finally something did happen in my favor. But I get her though, I mean, Detonate has not a lot of options, so that was actually really funny. And me not having an EQ on my team? Pretty darn destructive. So anyway, face your doom! Doom is gonna come in, and since I have a decent amount of HP, I don't really want to sack Lantern because it actually can win against the Lightboard. She'll go for Dazzling Gleam. I'll of course soak that like nobody's business. Because Mushana is just so bulky. My god, is that Pokemon bulky. So she's a little coke going for those dazzling gleams. I think I do decide there to actually go for a T wave. Um, basically, shut her down. Um, it's it's not a speedy Pokemon, but it's the best bet I got. And um, she can't do a whole lot to me, and it looks like it specs damage too. So that should probably tell you guys how fearsome Mushana really is. So anyway, she also tried going to Alexia, and I think that I decided to go for a Psychic, and yeah, there we are. So that was a nice play of her. Now, I don't believe a knockoff will kill me from this range, uh, so I decided to stay in and try to go for a uh, T-Wave this time, but it actually sells it. But I had very few options, really. <laughs> so I'm gonna go to Helga, because she can't do anything to me, and I knew that, so I'm just gonna go for Bolt Switch, predicting the Wigglytuff, or Phaser Doom! And, um... At this point, the only thing I needed to... We're actually go for a Skull. Why did I do that? Why the hell did I do that? Never mind, I go for a Switch the next time. Um, that was actually a bad play. Honestly, I should just have gone for a Switch. That would probably save me a few turns. Uh, but yeah, I'm forced to sack something else. I'm going to bring Grisner, hoping that she actually goes for something else. But Dazzling Gleam is going to break through. And that's Grisner right away. And really now, since I don't have any T-Waivers left... Uh, that was definitely my best sack because there's no way I was gonna outspeed the life anyway. So I could bring back Helga and potentially kill her with the skull from this range since I scored a crit, that is. Uh, but like I said, I should have both switched instead and actually brought, um, brought it there. So anyway, Alexia is her last Pokemon. And I do believe Lantern is my last Pokemon, actually. I don't think I have any more switch ins. So she's gonna go for Gunk Shot and we're gonna take that fairly well. But she does score the poison, which is gonna mean that she's gonna 2 hit Kyomi from this range, which is super, super bad. But luckily for me, not only I score a crit, I definitely put in range here where she could die. And um, she's going for a gunk shot, and she does land it, and that is gonna take me out. I think I have another Pokemon left then, because I know the outcome of this game. Wow, I'm sorry guys. Uh, so my last Pokemon, yeah, Nebula! I haven't even used my Miss Magus in the whole game, I only switched it in once. And she's just locked into that. She is not going to kill me. Wow, that did definitely nothing. And it definitely will finish the game off. So, Cleo, yeah, thank you so much for that battle. And, wow, this was a long recording. 
Yeah, I did, I did forget how long this battle really was. <laughs> wow. But then again, that detonate, wow. Uh, I mean, sure, my team is not that... Um, how do you say? Uh, competitively invested in that fashion. Only was main sweeper was primate. And Dedanae's, you know, functioning here was really good against me because it kept me at bay. Um, I don't know what else to say. I was really intimidated through and through because I couldn't hurt it without risking getting paralyzed. And yeah, I just, wow, wow. The, the reason I uploaded is because I was so badly walled. I mean, wow. <laughs> so if you guys enjoy this game, I mean, it was just a, for funsies anyway. Obviously, we're both using teams that are not that competitive. But I was a fun battle in Cleo because it just gets so weird so fast. So anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching as always. Like I said, do the time constraints. This is how we do this upload today. So sorry about that. And I hope I see you guys on the stream later on today. So until then, take care, guys. Bye.